Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News, the most hard-hitting show on television today. I'm your host, Rob Doohan. Today's date is Monday, August 20th, 2012, and here's a look at what we have coming up tonight. Tonight, DHS documents show that Big Sis is spying on InfoWars. Federal agency tracked InfoWars stories and user comments. Then, according to the newly released documents by the John F. Kennedy Library, a U.S. Senator suggested a false flag attack to Kennedy two years prior to Operation Northwoods. Plus, the FBI ramps up its propaganda campaign by declaring extremists who oppose the government are a domestic terror threat and a danger to law enforcement. All that plus Joel Gilbert, the director of Dreams from My Real Father, exposes the real Barack Hussein Obama. That's up next on InfoWars Nightly News. Do you remember last week when we were talking about George Soros and taking his investments and basically cashing out of the stock market for the most part and buying into gold? Well, now we're going to show you another globalist uh, minion, or I guess globalist uh, leader out there, Lord Jacob Rothschild. Uh, and here's that. Of Paul, this is Paul Joseph Watson at Infowars.com. Lord Rothschild betting on euro collapse. Banking Titan places two, $200 million short against single currency. If the actions of Lord Jacob Rothschild are anything to go by, the long-predicted collapse of the euro may not be far away, with the banking titan placing a $200 million bet against the troubled currency. Lord Rothschild, an elder member of the dynastic Rothschild banking family, has taken the position against the euro through RIT Capital Partners, the £1.9 billion investment trust, which he is executive chairman of, and that's out of CNBC. So what does this tell you? The big guys are getting out. They've, they've ridden the bubble up. They're getting out before the bubble bursts. They're going to wait for it to crash, and then they will get back in when it's down low after everybody else has lost everything, and then they'll go around buying up everything for pennies on the dollar. That's how the scam works. And you're not part of it. You don't have the insider information. You're not making currencies collapse out there, so that you don't know about it, and neither do your investment bankers. So... Take that to heart. It's coming. I told one of my friends this weekend, I told him about Soros getting into gold, and he goes, well, it's serious now. I said, yeah, obviously, it's serious.